Hello, this is Lonnie with Rolling O Farm. Raising goats and sheep has potential for great profit, particularly if you're raising them for meat. In this video, I want to talk about where you can sell your goats and sheep, and I want to look at three options that you have and the pros and the cons of each. Join me. Let's talk about three ways you can market your goats or sheep and talk about the pros and the cons of each. Uh, the first is you can market and, and sell directly off of your farm. And the biggest pro of selling directly off of your farm is that you sell directly to the consumer, and you cut out the middleman, and therefore there's the most profit to be made by direct marketing. In other words, you're selling directly to the person that is consuming it and therefore you don't have to sell at a lower price than what they would pay for. So it's the most profitable. The, the cons are is it requires a lot of time. Uh, you have to have time to be available. You have to have time to advertise. You have to have time to uh, field calls and answer questions. You have to have time to meet the consumer at their convenience. Um, and you're also going to have to deal with the different challenges that come along with, with dealing with people. You're going to have to be able to answer a lot of questions. You're going to have to wait on people that show up late. You're going to have to uh, probably haggle some about the price and, and things uh, of that nature. So it can definitely be the most profitable. It also requires the most time and probably has uh, the most aggravations along with that. Now, if you're going to sell off of your farm, be prepared for people to want to come and to butcher the animals on site. And you can decide whether you want to do that or not. That can be very profitable to do. If you are going to do that, you're going to need to have some type of facility to do that and be willing to do some cleanup afterwards. Um, I don't do that on my farm. I've tried it in the past and it wasn't, it wasn't worth it to me to do that. I will say this. If you're thinking about butchering them yourself and selling the meat, you need to check into the federal and local laws regarding that. There are some stipulations and you can get yourself in trouble if, uh, if you don't do that according to the laws. I'm not exactly sure what all those laws are. I'm not up to speed on that. I don't do that. And so just, just check into that before you decide to do that. Secondly, you can sell to a local livestock uh, auction. And many of the local auction barns will sell goats and sheep, sometimes in conjunction with their weekly cattle sales or monthly cattle sales. And the biggest pro of this is convenience. If you've got a sale barn not too far from your house that sells every you know, Monday or whatever, then you're able to take your animals in and uh, you, you, all you have to do is load them up, carry them down there and drop them off and they take care of everything else for you. So it's, it's very convenient. You don't have to deal with uh, buyers. You don't have to deal with any negotiations or anything like that. And you're guaranteed to sell your animals that week, that day. So that's, that's the biggest pro. The, the biggest con is many local sales don't have a large enough volume of goats or sheep to attract a large number of buyers. And consequently, what happens is there's not a lot of competition. And if there's not a lot of competition, there may not be enough people to drive the prices up very high. So many times these local sales, your goats or sheep may sell for less than they would at, at other places. And uh, you may not get the price that you'd really like to, to get there. Also, uh, with any auction, there's usually going to be a commission fee that you have to pay for them to sell your animal. And that's uh, many times around 10%, something like that. So you're going to lose 10% from what you sell. And at a local sale, if there's not enough competition of buyers, then you may not even get the price that you were hoping to before that. Now, there are larger goat and sheep sales 
that do attract enough volume of goats and sheep for a lot of different meat buyers to show up and prices are always going to be pretty competitive there because of that. And so you may have one within driving distance. And I'll tell you, if, if, if one is two or three hours away, it may be worth it. If you've got a large number of animals, it may be worth it to take them there as opposed to selling them at a local cattle sale. Uh, so the pro is you're still guaranteed to sell the animals and have a greater probability of getting a fair price since there'll be more buyers present. The con is still going to be you're going to have to pay commission on that. And, uh, and, and you, you're not guaranteed a price, but you will have to pay commission. And so you're still going to lose probably 10% of your commission along the way. A third option is to find a buyer who will come to your far farm and buy directly off of your farm. And if you consistently have large number of lambs or kids available, there will probably be a buyer somewhere around who you can make contact with, build a relationship with, and they'll come directly to your farm and they'll buy all of your lambs and kids when they're ready. And, uh, and this can be a great advantage for a number of reasons. First of all, the pro is if you can find an honest buyer, it can be a real win because they can do several things for you. Uh, number one, they can save you all of the hassle of trying to load up animals and take them somewhere else or sell them directly to the consumer. Uh, the convenience level is top notch if you have a, a buyer that can come to your farm and load them directly out of your, your barn or your catch pen. Uh, secondly, a buyer can tell you when prices may be the best. And when you establish a relationship with a buyer, they'll often call you and say, hey, prices are really high right now. I've got orders to fill. This would be a good time to sell if you have some for sale. And they will probably be able to give you at equal price, maybe just a little bit less than what market value would be. Remember, if you could take it and sell it for market value, you're still going to lose about 10% on commission. They may drop that 5% and uh, that saves them 5%, saves you 5%. Everybody wins there. They come and get them. You don't have to drive and take them. You win there. And also, sometimes they can offer you above market price if they have an order that they need filled. And so when I was selling to a buyer, um, uh, he may call me up and say, hey, I've got an order. I need this many more for the order. Do you have anything that'll work? I can pay you this amount is above market report. Sometimes I would have some ready to sell and I would call him and say, hey, my lambs are ready for sale. And he would say, I tell you what, right now is not the best time. If you can wait another month, prices are going to be a lot better. Well, that information was really valuable to me and it helped me out. So the pros to finding a, a good buyer that will come and buy off your farm are, are, are many. The uh, only con that I can think of is you may get slightly below market value, but again, you're not having to pay commission, so it's, it's still a win for you. So in conclusion, let me say there's good money to be made in raising goats and sheep. The market has been strong in the United States for a quarter of a century now. Prices continue to go up. We talked about that in a previous video where we talked about maximizing your profits when raising goats and sheep for meat. And if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend that you check it out. I'll try to link it in the description below and also at the end of this video. But it, you need to know what your options are when it comes to marketing or selling your goats and sheep. And whether that is selling directly to the consumer off of your farm or taking them to a local livestock auction or whether it's finding a buyer to come and buy off of your farm. You need to figure out what works best with your operation and with your lifestyle, with the time that you have available. When you do that, you'll find ways to maximize your profit on your farm, number one, and secondly, find ways to, for it to be more enjoyable to you in the process. I do appreciate you watching the videos. If you are looking for uh, goats and sheep, you're looking for breeding stock, whether it's a starter herd or flock or just additional stock to what you already have, Give me a call, see what I have available. You can also check out our website, rollingofarm.com. We try to keep uh, that current with what stock we have available. But thank you for watching the videos. And as always, happy farming.